Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a problem by using a two-way table. Um, a two-way table makes a problem such as the one that I've got here much simpler to do. Um, so let's go straight into the example here. So we've got 100 students in Year 7 either study French, German or Spanish. 45 of the students are boys and the rest are girls. 12 boys study German. 15 boys and 70 girl, 17 girls study French. A total of 30 students study Spanish. So I'm going to work out how many girls study Spanish. Okay, so first of all I'm just going to draw up my two-way table. Uh, I'm going to put the subjects going across. It doesn't really matter though if you did put them down the side. Okay, so we've got three subjects. We've got French, German and Spanish. And we also need a column for our totals. And going down the side, we've got boys and girls. Here's your find if you've got like um, a problem which involves boys and girls or males and females, the best way to complete would be doing a two way table. So again, let's just put the total along the bottom. So with the two-way table then, all the rows will add up to the number at the end, including the bottom row. And all the columns add up to the number at the bottom. Okay, so now I've drawn it up, I'm just going to fill the numbers that we have carefully into the two-way table. So we've got 100 students in Year 7. So they either study French, German or Spanish. So that would be the total, which we put in the bottom right hand corner. So the next bit is 45 of the students are boys and the rest are girls. So we've got 45 boys, so we put that there. 12 boys study German. So boys and German, so that's 12 there. 15 boys and 17 girls study French. So we've got 15 boys study French and 17 girls study French. And then we've got a total of 30 students that are Spanish. So that goes there. So I think the best place to start here will be to work out how many girls we have. So these two here add up to 100. So if we do 100 take away 45, that will give us the amount of girls, which is 55. Um, we could work out how many pupils we've got studying French because we just need to add up 15 and 17. So 15 add 17 is 32. So that goes there. Uh, let's work out how many boys study Spanish then next. So these three would add up to 45. So if we add up 15 and 12 first of all. That's 27, and take that off the total for the row, which is 45. So 45 take away 27 would be 18. So that goes there. And then we could work out how many girls study Spanish. So if we do 30 minus 18, so that is 12. I think we've answered the question now, but I'm just going to complete the two-way table. Um, so let's work out how many girls I study German. So if we do 17 and 12 and take it off the 55, that's 29. So 55 take away 29 is 26. And then if we add these two numbers up here, that will give us how many German students we've got. So 20, 26 and 12 
is 38. Okay, so if we go back and answer our question now, which was work out how many girls study Spanish. So that's this number here. So we've got 12 students who study Spanish. So I hope you like this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.